Namaste everyone. Uh, today in this video, I am going to talk of something which is my cheat code. Cigarette. Cigarette point. This is related to Hora. Hora means hour. And there is a debate whether it is from the Vedic origins or not. However, in Vedic astrology, Hora is referred for three things. The ascendant that you see, birth ascendant, is also referred as Hora. There is a Hora Kundli known as D2 chart. And there is Hora, that means hour also. Uh, unit of time. Here I am talking about this Hora unit of time. So you, have you ever thought of this, that how these weekdays are made? Why after Sunday there is Monday? This is basically based on Hora. One day is divided into 24 parts. Because one Hora is up to one hour. So one day is of 24 hours. And the planets are taken as per their speed. So slowest planet Saturn first, followed by Jupiter, followed by Mars, followed by Sun. Though Mars is followed by Earth, but in astrology, the position of Earth is replaced by Sun. That followed, Sun followed by Mer uh, Venus, Venus followed by Mercury, Mercury followed by Moon. In this order, every hora after sunrise goes up to the next day sunrise. So take it from Sunday. There are seven planets. Seven planets will repeat, repeat thrice. Seven, 14, 21. 21st hora will be of sun again. For Sunday, the hora will start from sun. Now the 21st hora will be of sun. 22nd, Venus. 23rd Mercury and 24th Hora, 24th hour, which will be the start of the next day will be Moon Hora. So next day will be Monday. So there are two things. The Hora at the time of sunrise decides which weekday it is today. Right? Now, talking of astrology, in astrology, when you decide time, sorry, in astrology, when you decide strength, astrology is a study of time. Influences over time, quality of time that I was talking in my previous Panchang video. So when you are talking of time, when you are talking of astrology with respect to time, one thing that is there that is strength of planets at a particular time. This is calculated using multiple ways, one of which is Shadbal. Now, Shadbal is consisting of six types of strength, Sthanabal, Kalbal, etc., Nesargikbal, and all of that. In that, Kalbal literally means the strength of time. So, of course, if we are studying astrology, which is a study of time, it also becomes very essential and important to understand which planet is most powerful at your time of birth. This is done using multiple methods, using multiple ways in astrology, but the most important of that is Kalbal, which constitutes four types of strength. One of which is what I am going to talk about right now, but according to my experience, all the factors, all the factors of Shadbal have a separate uses in horoscopy, in making predictions. No one have ventured into this topic, but I have done a webinar, easy predictive, something like that. That is based on Shadbal. I will drop a link to that webinar in the description section below. Where I have talked about how every facet of Shadbal works in prediction. How planet being powerful or weak in every point in Shadbal gives a prediction for the native, which is very accurate. And using that, you can make predictions or read a horoscope under four minutes, four or five minutes. You just have to see at the schedule table and make predictions. So the point that I was making here was that in this scalable, there are multiple types of strength out of which one strength is year Lord is powerful. Month Lord is more powerful than the year Lord. Day Lord is more powerful than the month Lord and Hora Lord is most powerful at all out of all of them. So basically, Hora, which is the finest division in this matter in, for the technique, which rules over the hour, is very important. And my technique, my cheat code is that whenever you have to see about a horoscope, you want to know everything about the horoscope. 
what i will say the most important house around which the horoscope will rotate it is decided by the hora lord so as i have told you in in the starting from sunday in sunday the first hora will belong to sun and every respective hour will be belonging to a planet according to their speed next hora to the faster planet next hora to the fast, faster planet in this same matter you will have a you are born into a particular hora right the lord of that hora is a planet you have to check that planet house the house is lorded by that planet the house where that planet is situated in and all the connections etc that planet is making this will tell you the gist of life the nutshell of life what the person is doing what the person is doing in his life what is his life up to the basic point of horoscope so if you have to identify this is a horoscope of an actor this is a horoscope of an politician this is a horoscope of a successful person or this person is going to struggle etc etc you have to go on to the hora lord this is the written code of brahma over forehead that he have written for any horoscope how to do it i will tell you using two three example charts right so for an example take this now here you can see hora lord is mentioned here hora lord mercury for this you have to go to preferences related to calculations and here you see hora kal and weekday start option where i have taken hora at sunrise hora is 124th of sunrise to sunrise satya hora this is this is what is called satya hora this is what i am referring to this is mentioned as hora lord here in the pancha that is mercury every other softwares give you this hora also the hora lord also now in this horoscope you see mercury mercury is in the 6th house it is the lord of the 3rd house it is the lord of the 12th house this is situated in the 6th house so competitions struggles fights winning over his enemies for a land foreign settlement will be the gist of life this is where the person this is where the life of the person will be rotating around right so this was just a sample horoscope right horoscope for the current moment so let's do it on some real life horoscope for an example this is the horoscope of mahatma gandhi now in the horoscope of mahatma gandhi you will say you will see jupiter is the hora lord now if you look at the horoscope jupiter is the lord of the 6th house jupiter is the lord of the 3rd house 3rd house indicates struggle so a struggle for freedom was his basic point it is also the lord of the 6th house so fighting is struggling against englishmen is what he did this jupiter is situated in the 7th house so foreign lands strong connection to foreign lands was also there many foreign personalities are influenced by mahatma gandhi and even mahatma gandhi learned law from south africa itself right from a foreign country so this is where the horoscope of mahatma gandhi is rotating around generally when you see 6th house getting connected to hora you know that the life theme of the native here you have to take the mool trikona rashi of the hora lord placement of the hora lord and other rashi of the hora lord also and make based on this combination of houses this is third sixth and seventh house connection right seventh house also indicates wars and fights right so basically this horoscope is of someone who is into struggling fighting with an enemy with a strong foreign connection this is his life summarized in three points also with the hora lord in the 7th house my experiments is truth and all of that face it is extremely clear right now let's go to another horoscope for example you take the horoscope of swami ramakrishna paramahansa now you go to the horoscope of swami ramakrishna paramahansa you see hora lord jupiter is the lord of the second house and is the lord of the 11th house and it is situated in the fifth house now from the second house and 11th house you can get confused that this person is money focused but that should not be the case what i have told you before take all the three houses in conjunction specifically the most important house is where the hora lord is situated in so hora lord is situated in the 5th house of mantra 5th house of followers 5th house of children 5th house of 
spirituality because it is the house of mantra you can say it is the house of spirituality only. because it is in the fifth house and along with this it is the lord of the second house and eleventh house the life of Thakur Ramakrishna Paramhans revolved around the second house revolved around learnings now fifth house is traditional formal learning and second house is traditional learning Revival of traditional knowledge, Gupta Vidyas, should be seen through the second house. And this is a classical dictum in astrology. So, because of second house, he revived those things which was almost lost. That's why he is considered an avatar. Because Jupiter is also the lord of the 11th house, 11th house which indicates Maya also, freedom from Maya also. So, his life was completely around not touching woman and gold. So freedom of Maya is where his life was. And because Jupiter, the Hora Lord, is in the fifth house, his life was completely dedicated to his disciples, his students, his followers, mantra chanting, worship and spirituality. Whenever trines of the horoscope will come into play, 159, it will show a strong spirituality. Right? Let's take one more horoscope for the sake of understanding. For example, you see in the horoscope of Steve Jobs, the Hora Lord is Moon. Now Moon, as you can see, Moon is situated in the, Moon is the Lord of the 12th house, situated in the 8th house. 8th house, what you call as a house of innovation. 8th house is also house of deadly disease. You know, Steve Jobs had a deadly disease of cancer. But along with this 8th house is also, you know, 8th house also represents revolutionaries. Right, transforming bad things into good or you know making addictive things is also indicated by the 8th house because 8th house indicates such things so because moon is there in the 8th house path breaking addictive things is what he have created and because moon is the lord of the 12th house he made a product which is internationally popular so his profession his work will have to do something on a grand scale on a big scale on a huge scale right so these were my three simple illustrations, though I have not gone into intricacies of these horoscopes to keep it simple. But this is how the analysis should be done. And once you start analyzing it, as I have told you before, houses lauded by the Hora Lord, combinations happening in those houses, the situation of the Hora Lord and the combination that the Hora Lord is making, all of that you have to read in depth. And after reading that, the life purpose of the native, the basic point is life purpose of the native or those areas around which the life of the native is revolving will be extremely clear in front of you. So this is my cheat code generally. Whenever there is a type of, you know, earlier we used to do, I used to participate in quizzes where a particular detail of a horoscope will be given and the question will be that what does the, what does this native do? You say what this native is doing, what he is up to, right? Or a particular date will be given and it will be, you know, what event happened at that point of time. I generally used to participate into such quizzes before. And in those quizzes, this was my cheat code to, you know, predict that I have shared with you, right? Thank you for watching. I hope it enhanced your knowledge.